Okay, I didn't show the title screen last part, so I had to do it at least that one time. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. In the last part, a uh, plot happened, and I mean a lot of plot, and ooh, money. And now we're going to continue on and actually, oh, have gameplay. <laughs> and as we talk to this guy, Muto, here, apparently the earthquake that was caused by Vati breaking the seal on the box of plotiness. Uh, this entire place has been torn up and we actually can't enter Castle Town to the north at the moment. Which, honestly, kinda sucks. Not that I need anything from there, but be handy nonetheless. But now we can chop down those trees, so booyah, we have this other way, way around, rather. And these enemies, the ones like I just killed, and the ones that show up right here, actually, are called Acro Bandits. They are surprisingly good for grinding money. Because when they all pop up, you can just mash the B button, and, or rather, whatever you have sword map to, and just annihilate them and get possibly a bit of money. And Octoroks, usually, they are generic Zelda fare. They'll move around and fire a rock at you occasionally. Now, in terms of money divisions, I don't know all the ones in this game. I know there's green, which is one, blue, which is five, I think yellow, which is ten in this game, and red is twenty. There are others that I can't remember at the moment, but that's because I haven't played this game in God knows how long. And welcome to Minish Woods, which is actually one of my favorite tracks in the game. And vines on a tree, okay, and weird random dirt patch. We'll find out about those later. And as I go here, we can't swim, apparently. And those little green slimes you should see popping up every now and then on the ground below me are green choo-choos. They'll just jump on you and try to hurt you. And we have this random tree stump we can uh, stand on. I don't know why that's there. Help! Help me! Ouch! Won't somebody stop them? Ow, ow, help! Somebody! Can anyone hear me? Okay, let's ignore that for the moment and go over here for our first heart piece. There are 44 of these in the game. Collect four to make a new heart container for even more life energy. Pretty much, get four to get another heart added to our life in the top left. There are 44 in the game, which makes 11 heart containers, so keep that in mind when you're going for 100%. But anyway, we saw that hat, so let's go save it. <laughs> hey, kid, you there! Ow! Hey, don't just stand there. Do something! Ow! What's wrong with you? Do you like watching me take this abuse? Help me! Alright, fine. People wanted me to do goodwill. <laughs> Phew! Well done! That was close. Not that I couldn't handle them myself. You don't even have arms. But that's besides the point. What in the world's a lone child doing so deep in the woods? Oh, oh, I see. The Pecori, you say? And Vati? Vati's cursed someone? What? The Sacred Blade? Is that so? I see, I see. You know, you and I have quite a lot in common. You see, I, too, am on a quest to break a curse of Vati's. And you say that reforging the Sacred Blade can break this, his curse, hey? Eh? Well, then you may have found yourself a companion, my boy. My boy? My name is Eslo. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Oh, great. We got a bird following us. Wait! Wait, I say! You walk so quickly. Too quickly, in fact. Can't you go any slower? Surely you've noticed that I have no legs. Boy, take a good look at me. Do you really think I can walk that fast? Ah! If it isn't one thing, it's another. You are a troublesome boy. Ow! There! Now you can't possibly leave me behind. My, it's quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than it looks, surely. And much easier on me. Hey, quit your squirming. Can't you sit still? See! 
There. Yes, yes, that's it. Much better. Now, I'm supposed to... No, I suppose a boy like you still has much to learn about the world. If you ever need my insight, press select. I'll be happy to help. Ah, such a hopeless child. Pretty much, pressing select, he acts as a hint system towards what you have to do in the game. It's actually rather useful if you need it. Hold on for a moment, my boy. We've stumbled across something important. The world of the Minish is very small. You're far too big to meet them now. Eh? Or the Minish? Ah, yes. Silly me. Allow me to explain. You humans call them Pakori, but they refer to themselves as the Minish. Strange how, in the world of humans, only this forest has kept that name. Anyhow, deep in the forest, they built a tiny village where many now live. But if we're to enter the village, we'll have to make you a touch smaller first. Look at that. At first glance, it appears to be a mere stump, yes? No, that stump is a portal used by people long ago to adjust their size. With my help, you can use it to shrink down to minish size. Just stand on the stump and press R to shrink. To return to normal, stand next to the stump and press R. Get me up there, and we'll give it a try. Alrighty, how bad can this go? And random Mario mushrooms, okay. Holy crap, we're tiny. Welcome to the world in the eyes of the Minish. Now aren't you glad you saved me? No need to thank me, though. Portals that reduce your size are all over the round in different shapes and sizes. If you want to return to normal, stand next to a portal and press R. But there's one thing you must know. Being Minish-sized is full of dangers. We have puddles at your normal size are bottomless swamps to diminish. And as your companion, if anything bad happens to you, it happens to me as well. So proceed with caution, my lad. If not for your own sake, then mine. <laughs> and we have this random little emotion thing that just shows us what we're doing. And there's this random patch of dirt here. Hmm, that's totally not important later on. So while I'm getting onto this little lily pad, I would like to share the fact that I've actually had a very good day so far today. I've actually found a, my own Super Nintendo copy of Chrono Trigger. That is fantastic news to me. Also, I love that they actually show your scale right now, because we're even smaller than acorns. That is awesome little setup there, Nintendo. And welcome to the Minish Village, another track I love. Hmm, it appears we found the Minish Village. I want a plushie of them, oh my god. Pika Picari. Beep beep, beep Pika Picari. Pico go, Pico, beep Pico. I want a plushie immediately. I gather it's been quite si some time since they last saw a human. What's that? You didn't understand what they were saying? Ah, yes. That was the language of the Minish. It's a little different from the dialect I'm most familiar with. I'm afraid I didn't catch most of what they were saying myself. But perhaps there's someone here who understands your language. We should look around. Also, you might see these acorns all over the place, as I just demonstrated there. They're pretty much just grass and grass or bushes in the overworld in this village. Just get, you can get a couple of rupees from them, maybe recovery hearts later on. Anyway, before we do anything else, we want to come over to this wooden path right here to find our second piece of heart. And with two collected, we're halfway to having our fourth heart container. Booyah! So, let's go see if we can find anyone that actually understands what the hell we're saying. Because uh, that's kind of important. Let's try this ornate place out. Hmm. Never seen enough of it like that before. Are you, uh, human? I'm Hylian, thank you. Oh my, it's been quite some time since any humans came here. My name is Festari. I watch the Abbey as well as the Shrine to the North. You seem to be having some trouble with our language, don't you? You could use a Java nut. It will allow you to understand our tongue. You should be able to find one in the barrel house to the, just to the south of here. Alrighty, well thank you, now that's a helpful NPC. 
And the barrel house that he's talking about is right here. Oh, gee, I wonder how I get back there. Push. Oh, Link! This must be the Jabba Nut for Star I told you about. Well, you better eat it if you plan on making any progress at all. And we ate the Jabber Nut. Now we can understand any Picoya that talks to us, or Minish, rather. Although, I think, in terms of programming, the, the Minish in this village are actually the only one that actually have the different text dialogue programmed into them. I think so, I think that's just so they can actually explain why you can understand them. <laughs> anyway, with that, we can do one thing in this village besides talk to Fistari, because if we talk to him, he tells us to go see the Elder, so let's just go and see him immediately anyway. He's in the Mushroom House up here to the northwest. Oh, you speak our language! It's been quite a while since we've heard outsiders speak our tongue. We have little to offer you in these woods, but please enjoy your stay. Thank you for your offer, but we have no time to relax. My name is Ezlo. This child is Link. We need to break a curse that has been cast on the princess of Hyrule. To do so, we'll need to reforge the broken Pecori blade. Ah, yes, and you've come here now to have the blade reforged? If you want the blade reforged, you will need the four elements. These are the crystalline forms of the energies that fill our world. Only by infusing the blade with these energies can a new blade be forged. Here, give me your map. I can mark where these elements can be found. Okay, so one in the forest, one directly to the north of us, one directly to the west, and one in the very northwest of the map. Eh, that doesn't sound too hard. The earth element can be found in the shrine to the north of us. Speak with Festari. He'll show you the path to the shrine's entrance. Go with caution. Evil creatures have been lately made their home in our shrine. Return to me at once after you have found the earth element. Alrighty. So, uh, yeah, back to Festari's Abbey. <laughs> if you wish to go to the shrine, very well. This way. Vile beasts have settled in recently. Be careful. It's quite dangerous. Why, well, thank you, sir, and your awesome glasses. So yeah, this little thing you may have noticed earlier is actually the first dungeon of the game. Who thought? And welcome to Deepwood Shrine. So this would be the Deepwood Shrine the Minish Elder spoke of. He said something about there being monsters inside, didn't he? Hey, hey now, no reason to be afraid or anything. I'll be waiting right here. No, wait. What am I saying? I'm not letting you leave me alone out here. Oh, as though you little coward. <laughs> but with that and me getting our first recovery heart, why there's a human heart in a jar, I have no idea. I'm going to need to end this off here. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap, we'll be going through the Deepwood Shrine and hopefully finding the element we've been told is located within here. See you guys then.